Meth and marijuana seizures rose across the U.S. during the pandemic. That's what recent analysis of law enforcement and illegal drugs tells us. Renee Cooper joins us now after diving into this at the local level. Renee, are our law enforcement noticing that same trend? Lauren and Nicholas, not exactly. The increase in seizures found by the National Institute on Drug Abuse specifically points to a specific uptick between April and September of last year. Here's a look at the Bismarck Police Department seizures of these two drugs during that same time. Marijuana does appear to follow the national trend, but the amount of mess seized was cut in more than half. Bismarck Police Detective Sergeant Mike Balmy says the local statistics showing a drop in methamphetamine seizures make more sense than the rise nationally. Intuition would tell you that the um, demand would increase during the pandemic, especially during the shutdown. But as far as increase in seizures, the borders were closed, which would affect the some of those especially large seizures a lot of those happen at the border, so my instincts would tell me that the seizures should have been down. Sergeant Balmy says marijuana is generally sourced inside the U.S., which could possibly explain why seizures of it increased from 2019 to 2020 in the capital city. But we're such a small statistical sample that any large seizure is going to kind of skew the numbers. And we see that from year to year with all our, our seizures. Across the river at the Morton County Sheriff's Office, they track the number of drug seizures rather than the weight of meth and marijuana in grams. They kind of stayed the same. 37 drug arrests were made, mostly for personal possession of meth and marijuana in 2019, compared to 34 in 2020. People were moving around less. You kind of have to look at what law enforcement was doing during the pandemic also. We were really being encouraged not just patrol, but the drug units as well, to not go out and do that proactive activity that usually leads to those large seizures. Although they're back to pre-pandemic levels now, Sheriff Kirkmeyer says traffic stops were slowed significantly for his department as well. Is that normally where drug seizures are happening at traffic stops? Yes, as far as uh, as far as the deputies and the sheriff's office, it, they they all come from traffic stops. As for the national statistics, Sergeant Balmy is left rather baffled. It makes me curious why those two substances would be the seizures would increase, and why heroin and, and those the opioids would not, because the demand for all of them would have had to have increased. Sergeant Bolmy tells me large meth cases where the department focuses on taking down entire criminal organizations are the number two focus for Bismarck police investigators just behind opiates like heroin and now fentanyl. He says the, the rest officers catch only as they come across it. Renee Cooper reporting.